Also, y'all, well, I'm back in the washroom again. <laughs> yeah, it's quieter back here right now. And I'm sorry for the lighting. And there's a lot of noise going on in there. <laughs> so I'm back here. Uh, you know, I've been sitting there working on uh, trying to get these videos I've been doing on snow. And I'm hoping I can get them all together everything and uh, and hoping that you will enjoy them I hope that you will enjoy them I will get it out of my mouth here you know just bear with me you know how us old guys are you know the old guy <laughs> yeah the old guy <laughs> anyway uh, you know a lot of times you know, we, we go through many things in our life. And uh, people tend to, <laughs> you know, we, 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 when we go through things, we have a tendency, and it happens to every single one of us. I haven't known anybody that hasn't. Is where when we are going through the valley, so to speak, we all tend to think that we are the only ones. Oh yeah. And sometimes it really, and or did I say sometimes? A lot of times that seems to be the case. Absolutely. So anyway, when uh, you're going through things and it seems like you're the only one, always keep in mind that you're not and also understand that if you believe in Jesus and you believe that Jesus spoke the truth all right, which that means having faith in him trust in him you trusted what he said was the truth so so you trust in that he is the Son of God that he is your personal Savior and Lord and everything well okay now he said there you know, and said that we are more of more value than many sparrows or many birds, as you please. And that the hairs of our head are all numbered. So, since, you know, then he also spoke to the disciples, which he uh, spoke to us. As he spoke to them, he spoke to us, uh, you could say where he said, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. Of course, in the King James it says world, but the correct translation on that is age. But, uh, but the thing is, it's not, this is not about translations, by the way, <laughs> is that since he made such a wonderful promise to us, let's keep that in mind. That while you're, you know, you're going through these things, you're not going through it alone. Oh, you could, but uh, you know, if you leave Jesus out of it, you know, you'll be going through it all alone, and chances are you're going to fall and flop, and you're going to crash big time. But with the Lord, you can make it through it, okay? Because He's there to comfort you. He, if you are filled with His Holy Spirit, you have the Comforter inside of you to help you. So you're not going through these things alone and so feel embraced by the promises of Jesus, okay? Feel embraced by that love. <laughs> so don't feel like you're the lone stranger. Though often we do. So I'm hoping that I can encourage you that if you're going through something now, understand you're not going through it alone. But if you have excluded Him, if you excluded Jesus out of this, and yes, you are going through it alone. And you, you need to get Him back in there to help you. Because you can't do it alone. I can't, you can't, nobody can. It's only through Jesus we can overcome that we can handle it, that it makes it all the difference. We can go through the valley with Him by our side. So, as you go and think of Psalm 23, 
Okay? Psalm 23. Read it. You, you know it by heart, but read it. Read it. I mean, contemplate, meditate on each verse in Psalm 23. And think of, oh, how great it is to have a good shepherd who cares. Alright? Shalom. And ha-ho.